Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another Odoo webinar. Today, we're going to be talking about Odoo Studio. Please let us know in the chat where you are tuning in from. We also have live experts in the chat waiting to help, any, help answer any questions you might have for us today during our presentation. Like I said, we're going to be talking about Odoo Studio today, one of the most versatile and powerful tools on the Odoo platform. But before we dive into that, we'd like to just take a couple of seconds to introduce ourselves and talk a little bit about the Odoo platform itself and some of the basics around that, especially if we have any customers in our chat who are brand new to Odoo. Hello, my name is Shai Nevo. And my name is Gianni Pietroni, and we are on the Account Management North America team in San Francisco. <clears throat> So this is how the agenda will look today. Um, so again, we'll have a brief recap of what the Odoo software is. Uh, we'll go into Studio and its features and benefits, followed by some Studio Basics and a live demo. Um, and before our closing remarks, we'll go over a neat new feature that is available in version 16 using Studio. <clears throat> so what is Odoo? Odoo is your all-in-one enterprise resource planning software with a suite of applications helping you streamline your business. As you can see, Odoo offers a variety of applications in different fields, allowing all of your teams to work simultaneously on one platform. When we think of the benefits of Odoo, we like to break it down into pillars. Uh, first off, Odoo is user-centric meaning that it is very intuitive and easy to pick up. And we put the customer at the center of the development process. Odoo is also fully integrated. This means that all of our apps are fully connected with one another and simultaneously allow all of our users to work together at the same time. Ultimately, this means that we can work faster and more efficiently. Odoo is full featured uh, so depending on your business requirements, we will work with you to help you configure and tailor your database to your specifications. Odoo is also scalable. So for example, if you are a one user, one application database, you can actually use Odoo for free. And then you'll learn that as you start adding more and more apps to your database, all of our apps and modules are actually included in one fixed user price. The exception to that rule is our app Studio, which we will be talking about today. Now, on the other hand, if you're a medium or large size business and continuing to grow on the Odoo platform, the Odoo platform will help you by scaling with your business uh, and adapt to help you support all of your team's workflows. Lastly, Odoo is flexible. Um, so depending on your exact business requirements, again, you will be able to see that uh, the Odoo software is very versatile in what we can do. Now, again, we will be presenting the Studio app today. So we have discovered that 46% of our clients hosted on our SaaS version use Odoo Studio. And why is that? Because Studio makes customization easy. Regardless of your Python knowledge, one can simply customize uh, applications by dragging and dropping different fields. Um, again, with Studio, you can build custom forms and fields. You can organize data. And this all allows you to automate your business flows. Uh, it is also developer friendly. So uh, you can access technical details as well whenever needed. So we've talked a little bit about customization. But what is it we're exactly customizing? Well. Right now, I'm going to talk about the two most customized features within Odoo using Studio. The first one is fields. Now, a field is just a location where the data is being stored on that record. And we have different types of fields, as you can see here on the screen. We have some simple fields like text fields, drop down fields, date and time, that kind of thing. 
You might have a field for a customer name or a contact name. You might have a field for an email address and a phone number. But those two fields are very different from one another. An email field will contain a large variety of things like letters, numbers, and special characters. Meanwhile, a phone number field will be quite limited to digits 0 through 9. And these different fields help Odoo understand what type of data is being contained within them. The other highly customizable feature within Odoo is the views. Views help us view our data differently based on what we want to do with it. So for example, as you can see on the screen, a list view might help you view things like sales orders or customer names. But what if you wanted to view something like projects or tickets? That might be a little difficult to view in a list view. That's why we have something like the Kanban view, where you can actually customize and modify each of the different stages within the view to help support your business as needed. All right, now we are going to show you how easy it is to customize our own application using Studio. So when you first download and install Studio, you might be asking yourself, where is it? Rather than being an app on our homepage, Studio is a little tool toggle button located in the top right side of your database. Uh, this way it allows you to easily access Studio as you are in different applications. Um, now we have already designed our custom application here, but if you were starting for the first time, you would open up Studio and you will see the option to add a new app here. You will also see the customizations drop down menu, which brings up a good important point, Shai. Um, whenever you're making changes using Studio, you should always test on a duplicate database. Um, if you mess up, no problem. Just uh, create a new duplicate database and you can start over again. Uh, once you've figured out if all your normal workflows are now working, that's great. You're ready to export and download your zip file and you can import it to your production database right after. Another option here is to change the background on your home page, which we have done so today to represent our business. Now, we will be operating as a furniture business uh, offering assemblies and deliveries for our clients. On the main page of our application, you can see that we have created a list view using Studio. Um, and essentially this lists all of our clients' projects that we have. We've dropped a related field here um, to show the assembly team that is assigned to each project, um, as well as the number of units to, to assemble for each project. Now let's open up this customer's business, Mark's Ministry of Magic. <clears throat> As Shai mentioned earlier, fields help to structure the model of a database. Um, there are simple fields such as text, numbers, and files. Uh, relational fields will help to pull data from another model. <clears throat> uh, one we have used throughout our project here is a many-to-one field. Uh, so when you have a many-to-one field, again, you have to have a selection that tells Odoo where to pull this information and data from. So one example here is the contact field. As you can see, we typed in the contact for this business, Mark, and it automatically populated once we did so. It also automatically populated the billing address associated with Mark's business. Um, but let's say Mark's business has a different delivery address than the billing address. Well, we've gone ahead and dropped a checkbox field here. And as you can see, when we check the box, a new field populates with a delivery address and we would be able to type in a different delivery address. Now, let's say uh, the type of business is either residential or commercial. Um, well, in that case, you can see that we dropped a selection field here. And when commercial is selected, uh, another invisible field populates asking us if a dock is on site. Now, normally, of course, you would want to make sure you save any changes that you make with this button. Um, for now, I will discard so I can show you how I created these fields using Studio. So let's open up the toggle again. As you can see, these are the fields that we are able to drag and drop. Um, now, you might be wondering, where are these invisible fields that we have already created? Well, in order to see those, you have to click on the View tab and check the box Show Invisible Elements. We scroll up here, 
now we will see that these invisible elements are in fact striped fields. When we click on one, for example, you will see that we were able to check the box next to invisible and create a condition so it is dependent on the previous field. If that checkbox is checked, then delivery address is going to populate. And with that being said, I am going to hand it off to Shai, who will show us another neat integration using smart buttons. Thanks, Gianni. So like we mentioned, we have different fields within this record that help us identify different types of data that we need for our business. Now, as you can see by some of the fields, some of these you've seen before, like a contact name or a billing address. You might even have a sales order field in some of your other records. Now for this project, as we stated, we have a company that we're representing uh, that sells both a delivery service and an assembly service. Now Odoo already has built-in tools to help with delivery processes, like lead times and that kind of thing. Now we wanted a separate module to help with our assemblies. Now you might be able to use the project app for this, but depending on your workflows, you might be a little limited. So we actually created, like Gianni said, our own application for this. And we created our own fields within this record to help us with this process. So for example, we have a date and time of delivery. We have how many units need to be assembled on site when they get there. We have an assembly team that helps us identify which team is going to be deployed to help actually do the assembly. We also created our own tab here, unit specifics. This allows our team to dive even further into this record to understand what the project is going to be. In this case, we've got different product categories and the number of each product that we have to assemble so our team can be ready to do the assembly. The final thing that we configured on this is the smart button. And as you might already be aware, Odoo has smart buttons that help integrate different apps with one another. And so we wanted our application to be integrated with the other areas of Odoo to make the integration even stronger. So as you can see here, we have a sales order smart button that we configured that's going to take us straight to the sales order that was generated as a result of the sale that was made when they asked for the delivery. And as you can see here, all of the different products that were on that assembly order are actually here on the sales order as well. That's where that data was pulled from. And as you can see on the top right, this integration goes both directions. So we have an assemblies smart button on the top right. When the sales order was created and they requested a delivery, one assembly request popped up. And when I click on that, it takes us straight back to the assembly request that was put in by the customer. Now I'm gonna hand it back to Gianni so he can talk about one of the great new features we have in studio on Odoo 16. Thank you, Shai. Okay, so one of the many new features in Odoo version 16 is the approvals workflow using Studio. So a common need for many businesses is to have a specific user um, be required to approve a specific workflow such as a sale or a purchase. So let's say that um, for any orders over $1,000, we require our employees to approve this, uh, get this approved by our administrator. Well, using Odoo Studio in version 16, uh, you can now trigger a default action that will notify this administrator when they are needed to approve this. <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much, everyone. That is it today. Um, now you've seen how easy it is to customize your own applications. Uh, why not give it a try for your own business today? Um, please make sure to reach out to your account manager if you would like any additional information. And if you have any other questions as well, feel free to reach out to Shai or myself as well. Thank you. Thank you.